and welcome to Cavendish Studio. My name's Harriet Muller and today we're going to be learning how to draw a deer. So get yourself your sketchbook or some plain white paper, a pencil, rubber and a black pen. Let's get started. First of all, we're going to mark where we think the drawing's going to start and where the drawing's going to stop. So I'm just going to do some dots, just one dot up here and another dot down here. We're going to start with drawing the deer's head, which is going to be an oval shape. So I'm going to draw an oval shape here. I'm going to follow the oval shape by drawing a circle. That's going to come just slightly to the right hand bottom corner of this oval shape. Now we're going to do another oval shape and that's going to start at the bottom of this one up here. And this one's going to be slightly bigger. This is going to be the deer's forward shoulders. Now remember this doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, my oval shape's going all over the place. But don't worry about correcting it, it's fine. We're going to draw another oval shape, which is going to be slightly higher. I'm going to do it in line with this little circle and slightly to the right as well. There we go. Now I'm going to draw the legs. The legs are going to come down here. So I'm just going to draw some lines to show the legs. And then I'm going to do a little circle for the knee. And the same on this side. A circle for the knee. I'll draw another line coming down. And then a little hoof. Uh, just a shape like that to show the hoof. And the same on the other side. And then for the hind legs. This one's coming slightly round here. And a circle for the knee. This is coming out a little bit. And then the hoof. and then the other hind leg. And last but not least, the ears. This fawn's got rather large ears. One like that, and one like that. Now we're going to be adding the detail of the fawn's face. So if you draw a line coming down, slightly curved, round like that, and then one halfway across this oval, slightly curved again, like this. And the same with this circle here. There we go. So on this line, we're going to be drawing the fawn's eye. And they've got rather large eyes. There's one eye. And there's the other one. We can color them in later. And then the nose is going to be where this line crosses. One nostril there and one nostril there. And then the little mouth. And we're just going to show the shape of the face. Can come around like this. And also we're going to draw two straight lines coming down. One here and one here. So it's starting to take shape. Just going to add a few more details. We're going to join up these two large oval shapes to draw the back, like so. The belly is going to come round here, and then we're going to join this up to the front one, like so. Starting to take shape now. The top of this leg is going to come round here. We're going to make 
this leg slightly fatter than the little stick that I've put in. So this comes down to the knee here and the same on the other side. You can start drawing a little bit harder now, pressing down on the pencil so it's a little bit thicker and darker. And then this can come round. So she's got very slender legs. And then the hoof, just draw two toes like that. And now the same on the other side. So to the knee, round, and then two toes on the hoof like that. And then up and draw around the knee. And then up like so. And then the hind legs. The knee. And do the back hoof. Again, the two toes. And then the last hoop like that. Now to add a few more details. Now at this point, before we start drawing with ink, we can revise our drawing and we can see which parts don't work. And I can see from holding it at a distance that this back leg's slightly too bent. So I'm going to adjust this now. And then when I come to draw it in pen, I can draw the correct version. I'm also going to add a little bit of shading so that I can add this in when I come to using the pen. And I can make any adjustments that I need to do so that I don't get them wrong when I use the pen. And now to add some pen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm adding more fur and you can just do this by doing lots of very light and fine lines using your pen. You don't have to do this bit, it's only if you want to go into more detail. And make sure that you do the lines in the direction that the fur's um, going. So for example on the back the fur always goes towards the back so I'm drawing lines going that direction. If you want to make uh, certain places darker, then you can use cross hatching. Cross hatching is where you do lines in one direction and then you do lines in another direction to make it darker. So for example, here I'm going to draw lines in one direction and then I'll draw lines in the other direction to make it slightly darker. So you can just carry on doing this until you finish the whole entire deer and I'll show you what that looks like now. So here's our finished deer drawing. I hope you've enjoyed the class and please do join me on the next one. If you'd like to see more of my paintings, please visit harrietmuller.com. Bye and see you on the next one.